Welcome to this session on placing elevators. In this session, we'll place two passenger elevators in this shaft and a service elevator in the smaller shaft. Now I'm going to work in the top view. I'm actually going to modify my views here. So I'll rotate my larger view to a top view and change its display style to a wireframe and then rotate view two to the isometric view and adjust the display style. So elevator lifts fall under a tool here, which is objects. So this tool can be used to place a number of different objects in the bib model. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that tool. Now, this top pull down actually allows you to select the catalog type of the object that you want to place. So you can see there's a variety of things in here, such as toilet partitions and plumbing fixtures, furniture, escalators, and we're gonna use the elevator door. So when we we're placing lifts or elevators in the model, what we're actually placing is the door and then attached to that is the 2D of the cab. Now, once we've selected the type, we have a number of different items under that type that we can select from. And for the passenger elevators, we're gonna use the example center opening. And I'm gonna set my placement point to the center and then of course check my dimensions. And so we have a number of different dimensions with elevators. The ones we're gonna pay the most attention to here is the door width, which we're gonna to set to four feet, the door height, which we're gonna to set to seven feet, Another one we want to pay attention to here is the frame depth. So on the doors and the windows, we had that option to, to match the wall thickness. We don't have that option on the elevator door, and so we're gonna to have to set our frame depth, presumably to match our wall thickness. So these are being placed in the CMU walls, which we remember were seven and five eighths inches or 200 millimeters. So I'm going to actually put that in as the frame depth. And then we also want to pay attention to the cab width, which we're going to set to eight feet, and the cab depth, which we're going to set to six feet. Now we could also create a side offset and a base offset um, from our placement point, but I'm going to leave them at zero and we'll use AccuDraw to get it placed where we want on the wall. So let me zoom in here. And this is really very similar to placing a door. We're gonna select the wall and then place the door along that wall. Note though, you do want to select the outer face of the wall. In other words, the face where you'll see the elevator door and not the shaft side. So we're gonna select this side of the wall. That's going to rotate our lift to the correct orientation. And then I can slide along that wall. Note my compass is at the end point of that wall. We know from the dimensions given in the workbook that we want to come down here seven and a half feet or 2250 millimeters. And so we're just going to, to type that in. You can use your AccuDraw shortcut, the enter key to lock that axis and then just type in the dimension. So seven and a half feet. And then we'll place one more in the same way and we've got the two passenger elevators placed. I'm gonna right click to reset and then go back to the object tool. And this time I'm going to select the example two speed elevator. I'm going to put my placement point at the side of the elevator. And again, we'll just check our dimensions. Again, we're gonna do a door width of four feet, a height of seven feet. I want to check that frame depth again, seven and five eighths inches, and then our cab width, six feet and eight feet. So we'll place this one. And again, it's a matter of the distance from the corner there. I'm going to use one and a half feet. So now we've got our elevators or lifts placed. We can see 
the plan view there. And if I rotate this back to my isometric, we can see the doors in the model there. And now that we have this lobby core basically laid out and modeled, we're going to actually just make a copy of it and, and, and then create the core for the office floors. And of course, we'll have to make a few modifications. And we'll do that in the next session. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.